Hi, Craig Sigal, mental toughness trainer. And you know, one of my absolute core principles that I teach all of my athletes, all of my clients that I've had over the years, and even more importantly, my students who become mental toughness trainers and work with people is this. Nothing is personal. How do I stop taking things so personally? How do I stop being so offended? How do I stop being hurt? It's to realize the deadly accurate truth, this principle I'm talking about, that absolutely nothing is personal. Let me get into it for a second. Whenever a coach yells at, rips on a player, it's not personal. Whenever a spouse calls you names, says you're mean and nasty things, you're lazy, you're useless, you're this, you're that. I don't care if they're saying you fill in the blanks, and I don't even care if it's what they're saying is possibly true. It's still not personal. When someone flames me in my emails or on my ads and says, you don't know what you're talking about, Craig. What you just said is professional jealousy and you don't know anything. Blah, 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 blah. It's not personal. When you're at work, and this happened to me a lot when I was in the corporate world, and a boss says, you absolutely suck. You better get that project done yesterday with this kind of a anger and, and, and venom in their voice, right? Uh, or I'll find someone who can do it and you'll be, out of a, you'll be out of a job. It's not personal. Even if they're looking at you, throwing their dagger eyes at you and, and anger and frustration and you're on the receipt, still not personal. When a parent tries to give an athlete, a young athlete, some advice, and maybe it comes across kind of harsh, kids take it so personally, but it's not. So why do we feel bad being on the other end of those kinds of experiences? Because we take it personal. But what does it mean to take it personal? What's that even mean? Basically, it means it's like a shot to our ego, our identity, our self-worth. But the truth is, if you have built your identity on things that cannot be judged, judged away, that cannot be taken away, that cannot be disputed, well, then there's nothing anybody can say to you to hurt your identity. And everything somebody says, even if it's in a pleasant way of saying it, even if it's a nice thing they're saying it, they're saying something to you. Even if they're complimenting you, guess what? It's all what we call a projection. What's a projection? A projection, in my words here, and there might be some dic dictionary psychological definition, but I try to keep things down to earth so you understand. Them. But a, a projection is an expression of some sort that gets filtered through a person's beliefs and values and how they feel in the moment and then delivered or projected out from them. That's where you get the term. So all expressions that you take personally, they're not personal. They're a projection of this person's stuff, their beliefs, their values, and how they feel about themselves right now. Not you. It has nothing to do with you. Here's proof. Are you ready? Right now, if... You were to put my brain, the mental toughness trainer's brain, into, let's say, a 14-year-old girl's head. And the 14-year-old girl gets ripped on by the coach for making a mistake in serving or something like that. And this coach is, just has no idea how to, how to talk to a 14-year-old girl or the best way to motivate a 14-year-old girl, girl or the best way to correct something that needs to be corrected, right? 
And if I was that 14-year-old, my brain, my values, my thoughts, and we could put it into that girl's body and be on the receiving end of what that coach is saying, I would have absolutely no rejection, no hurt. I would not take it personally whatsoever because I know that this coach is saying this stuff at me because of the coach's issues that the expression has gotten filtered through. In other words, if this coach is ripping on me, even they're saying, let's say my name is this girl's Jane. If this coach is saying, Jane, you absolutely suck. You're the worst volleyball player in the world. I would still know that it is not personal to me that this coach, even though using my name in truth, it's still not personal to me. It is a projection from this coach and her own stuff, her own unresolved problems. Maybe she got yelled at as a kid. And she doesn't know any different. So her expressions get filtered through her experiences from the past. Because most good coaches would never do that. But she's doing that because she has stuff. It's not the 14-year-old girl. It never is the person on the receiving end. I don't care what is being said. Or what you're getting on the receiving end, it's still not personal. So how do you not take it personal? You build your identity, your ego, your self-worth. You become successful at building it on things that nobody can take away. And those are your skills, abilities, and resources. If you look back on all the things you've accomplished, and I've worked with six-year-olds who have plenty of accomplishments who can point out what it was that they used to create that accomplishment. And I'm just going to rattle off some things that come out of this, like determination, like the confidence, like applying my skills, like learning and listening and then using them. Fearlessness, those are the kind of things, like one of the things that I've built my entire ego center around is this idea, I'll figure it out. And no matter what happens to me, I'll figure it out. I, that's another story for another day of how I got that. You see, I have that idea. That's my ego, that's my identity. So even if somebody's yelling at me saying, you're this, you're that, you're bad, you're blah, blah, blah. Doesn't have any effect on my identity, my self-worth that I just figure things out. I decide that I want to achieve things. I've got lots of skills and abilities and talents that I've used in the past to achieve things. Yeah, maybe I'm not, I haven't achieved this thing yet, but I will figure it out. And nobody can take that away from me. So no matter what the situation is, what I'm talking about holds. It holds true all throughout. If you put another person, another person's brain who doesn't have the belief programs and values that this person who's getting hurt has, like I don't have the belief values and programs that a 14-year-old girl would have if a coach is yelling at her. Hers are... The thing that's getting triggered or something like, well, I'm not very good and I don't know if I'm good enough. And what this coach says is, is, is determining how good I am, if I'm good enough, whether I'm good enough to, talk, to play on here. And this coach is determining me not. So that's a shot to my ego. And in that case, you will take it personal and it will be painful. But that is the opposite of what you want. And that's what mental training is all about. Building your ego on things that nobody can take away. That's how you don't take things personally. A, it's recognizing that everything is a projection. And B, having your ego built on things that there's nothing anybody can say to touch it, to have any effect on it. That is the secret. That's a core principle I teach all my trainers to work with their athletes and, and, and that I have done over the years working with people. So I want you to remember that. Nothing is personal. Psychologically speaking, nothing is personal. Everything is a projection. Nothing is personal to you. 
You can make it personal if you want, and you'll probably feel bad if you do, but you have a choice in the matter. And the knowledge of what I've just given you here today, when you sink that in, that will be your protection from being hurt when you're on the receiving end of somebody else's venom, somebody else's negative expression, their projection, right? All right, I hope this helps you. Go forward. Nothing is personal. Everything is a projection. I'm Craig Sigel, your mental toughness trainer.